I traveled across the United States looking for the toughest, coolest, and most dangerous jiu-jitsu gyms across the US. I stumbled into a gym called Next Edge Academy, and here I met a dangerous college wrestler. Let's see what tactics he uses to counter jiu-jitsu and what techniques and strategies I use to counter his aggressive wrestling style. As the round starts off, I can tell Brett here is a wrestler, so I decide to challenge myself and stay on my feet. However, it definitely does not take long for me to realize that this guy can probably crack my spine at will, so I pull guard to strategically gain an advantage, and not because I'm a f***ing. Now don't click off just yet, I'll stand back up later in the round and things will get a lot more interesting. But for now, I do what any other jiu-jitsu guy would do against a wrestler and go for leg locks. One thing that Brett did really well there is freeing his knee line from my hip line, and by doing that you can shut off most leg lock attacks. I try to re-engage into a single leg X, but Brett keeps his body weight back and keeps a post on my shoulder to prevent me from elevating him. He then drops in a deep wizard as he looks to backstep. One super big advantage that wrestlers have over a lot of jujitsu guys is their base, and you can see that here as Brett is off balanced but looks completely stabilized, and I look like a toddler learning how to walk for the first time. I continue to press forward for leg locks by attacking a K guard entry. Brett once again manages to freeze knee line and actually comes up almost passing my guard. From here, I go to set up into an underhook, but things start to get pretty real as Brett re pummels and starts crushing me with wrestling pressure. I know if I get flattened out on my back here, things will get really nasty, so I'm forced to disengage and reset my position. Jeff then stands up and dives in for a knee cut, but as he does, I finally find the opening that I've been needing, and I'll use that to come on top and finally secure a sweep. However, as many of you could probably predict with his wrestling background, he's not one to stay on his back and will frame away and use a technical stand-up to get back up to his feet and create a lot more problems for me. But now, as I said earlier in the video, it's time that I finally engage in the wrestling exchange. I start my infamous wrestling career by giving Jeff an easy sweep single and getting taken down right into close guard. Now, if you guys have been fans of the channel for a while, you'll recognize this next move as the Sunsetter Triangle, but against wrestlers who are super scrappy and super fast, Brett will chain that right into his own passing attempts. I make a pretty big defensive error as Brett wraps up my head by not putting more effort into defending, and he nearly skates by in a side control. Luckily, I'm able to roll over and turtle and eventually recover my guard. I'll then take a page out of Brett's book and attempt to wrestle up on a single leg. However, he counters with some of my own style as he backsteps into saddle and tries to put me into a leg lock. I keep myself safe by pointing my toes outward and keeping my heel facing his ribs. And once I free myself, I attack that sunsetter triangle one more time. However, Brett caught me a little high on his back and he managed to duck and escape. Now I decide to stand up and go for one of my other signature moves, an arm drag single leg. But as I attack it, I realize that I wasn't able to make him step fully and I get caught stuck and forced back to guard. Brett's doing a really good job at avoiding the leg entanglements, so I decide instead of going for leg locks, I'll take a page out of his book and try to attack more wrestle ups. So as I invert this time, I come up and try to attack a double leg. If you didn't guess, it got pretty easily sprawled on, and Brett forces me down to my butt where I belong. But right here, I realize there is a tool in the Jiu Jitsu arsenal that is built to counter wrestlers. In wrestling, there's no fear of being submitted. And one thing wrestlers do a lot when they take shots is their head drops below your head and opens up a powerful submission. And here as Brett goes in for a duck under, I finally see the opening that I've been needing. Unfortunately, getting beat up by one of the best guillotine specialists on YouTube still wasn't enough to teach me and Brett is able to escape and follows that up with a foot sweep to end the round. 